Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to give y'all a few minutes because I just seen something. I wasn't expecting to hear what I heard. Uh, but uh, so I'm going to just give y'all a few minutes to come up on here, whether you do or not. I just wanted to say something, you know. I just want to say this. As Christians, we better make sure that, you know, even, you know, starting out Christian, if we're, we're born again and um, we are filled with the Holy Ghost, there's changes are going to take place in our life. I just want to say that first off. Changes are going to take place. So let me say this, y'all. I, I was messing around on my phone. And uh, this video popped up on my Google. It was Lua Nail. I guess she's a comedian or whatever. She is. Uh, Lua Nail is a comedian, right? And she was talking about Kanye. And I wanted to, I wanted to actually see what she was saying. The things that I heard, I didn't expect to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and warn you because I'm going to play it. And I'm going to try to cut out the cussing as much because she was cussing up a storm. <laughs> but I'm going to try to block out as much as I can. So I just want to go ahead and warn you before I actually share this. I just want to go ahead and warn you. Now, I'm not really interested in what she was saying about Kanye. But I just wanted to show you as a Christian, when somebody asks you, are you a Christian? We shouldn't hear the rest of the stuff that she said. So I'm going to play the video. I'm going to turn my camera to the video and I'm going to play it. And I want to warn you one more time. If you are uh, just starting out Christian, you might as well go ahead and turn the video off because it's, I'm going to try my best to black out the cuss words that she was saying. But uh, um, if you're not mature enough to handle it, then go ahead and turn it off. Don't don't even. But I'm going to play this video and I want y'all to hear what she was saying. I'm not really interested about what she said about Kanye, but I just want to somebody ask her a question. And this is what she was saying. So I'm going to turn it one more time. I'm warning you there is foul language and I'm going to try to mute it and cut it out as much as I can. So one more time, if you uh, can't take foul language, turn it off. All right, so I'm going to show y'all what she said or play what she said. I'm going to try to block it out as much as I can. All right? All right, here we go. So listen to what she was saying. Listen to this. You're religious. You know, you mentioned God throughout our various interviews. Are you a Christian? Uh, yes. Okay. First off, right there, she took too long to answer. When somebody asks you, are you a Christian, you should be sure that you are a Christian. When somebody asks you, do, do you believe in God? All that should, it should be a sure answer. She took too many seconds to answer, are you a Christian? That's the first thing that I noticed. We shouldn't take so long. When somebody asks us if we're a Christian and we really are Christian and we really are born again, it shouldn't take you that long to answer that. It should not. So let's go on, and I'm going to try to, like I said, I'm going to try to block out as much cussing as I can. So hold on. Here we go again. Okay. As far as Christianity, you know, goes, do you go to church, and do you believe, you know, God died for our sins, and rose again, all that, then, yeah. But you also have to realize that I'm smart enough to know that this Christianity that we're, you know, embracing it's not even our real religion because we've been jacked from our real religion, which was in Africa. Okay, so let's stop right there. Let's just stop right there. First off, Christianity did not start in Africa, okay? Christianity and all that kind of stuff, where Jesus was from, Jerusalem, Nazareth, uh, uh, Samaria, uh, Galilee, that's where Christianity started off. And when you hit the book of Acts, uh, uh, the uh, disciples or they became apostles, they all were over in Jerusalem, Samaria. They went to Athens. They went to Ephesus and all them different places. So Christianity did not start off in Africa. OK, it started off in, in places like Jerusalem and Samaria. Go ahead and look it up. OK, look, you look in your Bible It said that Jesus was born in the city of David uh, on a hill. And, and so Christianity don't didn't start off in Africa. And 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 people are trying to put this blackism 
are trying to uh, put this blackism out, like as in uh, they're trying to worship two different gods. I'm trying to worship Jesus or say I believe in Jesus. And then you're trying to say, well, we st our real religion is in Africa, you know, uh, and, and, and I, I don't believe in all that. I'm sorry. Uh, as, as a black person myself, or as an African American or whatever, uh, I don't believe in that. Okay. I, I believe that, you know, in Christ, it don't matter what, you know, what color you are. Cause it said neither blonde nor flea nor slave nor Gentile nor Jew. It don't, nor male nor female. The Bible says that we're all one in Christ Jesus. So it don't have anything to do with color. Hallelujah. It don't have anything to do with, uh, your heritage. That Christianity don't have anything to do with that. It don't have anything to do with history, your history, history. It has all to do with his story, not history. But you can look up all the history, and it's good to know the history. I'm not saying don't know the history, but I'm just saying. So I'm going to try to play it again, and I know there's going to be some cuss words coming up, and I'm going to try to mute as much as I can. All right? Hallelujah. You know, if I'm going along with the flow and being Christian over here, yes, I'm a spiritual person. I have a relationship with God. I know that he rules every step that I take and every breath. I know that, and I believe that. But black people, just like we don't have our own language, we don't have our own religion. We've been indoctrinated into when we came over here. White man gave us the Bible. So that, that's the only thing black folks can read. They read that. The white man said Jesus looked like this. Not a whole bullshit. I, oh, sorry. I, I'm, I'm I so tried to block it. That. Like <laughs> okay. Now let's, let's talk about this one more time. Hallelujah. So she said, and I'm not trying to judge this lady, but what I'm trying to get you to see that, uh, you know, this this don't sound like no Christianity to me. This sound like something that she want to believe in about because everybody wants to come up with their own stuff. Everybody want to come up with their own religion. But the, why you want to put Jesus in your own religion? If you're going to believe in Jesus, believe in Jesus. If you're going to worship Jesus, worship Jesus. If you're going to uh, give your life to Jesus, then give your life to Jesus. Don't be trying to, you know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to, uh, I want to believe in Jesus, but then I want to have my own religion over here, over here from, because I'm from Africa, or I believe in my African heritage. It's not saying that, you know, that we shouldn't, you know, want to know our history or whatever, as, even as African Americans or whatever. But I'm just saying, don't try to mix your own religions belief or whatever your only religion nosity or whatever with what jesus is saying you know because jesus jesus ain't got nothing to do with uh african your own african ways and and religion and all of that kind of stuff so it was just weird to me that when that the, the guy asked her do are you a christian and it took her like more than five seconds to answer that it should not take you that long to answer when somebody asks you a christian you should be able to say it out of your spirit right off bat and then she was wanting to put in the fact that you know what i'm saying that we we uh we supposed to have our own religion and our own language as black people or whatever uh uh if you're gonna believe in christ jesus that's that should be it you shouldn't want to have jesus and then something else because jesus is the one who told us hallelujah he's the one who told us you can't serve god and mammy you can't serve god and money you can't drink the cup of the lord and a cup of demons you you, you either gonna worship one or the other you can't be lukewarm or you spit you out so uh and then the foul language after that too the foul language and i'm trying to block it out the best way i can but the this is the idea that she has for Christianity. And I'm going to try to, she's going to say like a GD word, but I'm going to try to block it out the best way I can. Please forgive me if I'm not able to. And if you're not able to uh, handle those kind of words, because I'm around stuff like that all day and uh, without p getting polluted or spotted by the world. But if you can't handle those kind of words, then jump off of this video. But uh, I'm going to try to block it out the best way I can. Okay. So I'm going to listen to the rest of this stuff. Good old goddamn gospel Look, see, fire. That GD and word. I like to be around my people. This is what and she thinks. I like think. to see them old ladies in them big hats on Easter. And I like to hear them keep keying. And Edna got that on. That's too tight. She shouldn't have I like all that messy church stuff. And I like the music. And I like the word. So, you know, if you want to call me Christian, that's what I am. But I'm a child of God. And I know that. And I've got favor. And I do what I can when I can. I be slipping, though. So it's a good thing that he forgives and all that. Okay. 
So, <laughs> her idea of Christianity and her idea of, uh, well, her idea of Christianity is about having big old hats on. Y'all hear me now, church folk. These big old hats and they talking about what Susan got on in the church or what, who, so and so and so and so. Messy. She said that good old messy church stuff. I like that good old messy church stuff. So this is the idea. And I'm going to stop right there. This is the idea that the world has about church. They think we're just, we just like to go to a building and wear a hat and, 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 and wear hats, church hats and, and have, try to have on the best suits and the best dresses and, and, and just, you know, the, the, the whole traditional, uh, I want to shout and dance and, and which is fine. But, but you know what, this is her idea of Christianity that, that, that's that, that messy stuff, that messy stuff in the church when you're talking about so-and-so's hat or what so-and-so got on. So this is the, the world's idea of Christianity. Now, if you're just joining this video, I'm, uh, you know, you got to go back to the beginning because I'm going to end it. But the, the, the guy asked her, is she a Christian? It took her a while to answer. And then she said, yes. And then she said, yes, on the, I know it's all flesh. It show sure is. She needs to be delivered. Yeah. And we need to pray for her deliverance. Now, she said that, thank God that he forgives because I'll be slipping. Amen. Amen. We know when we slipping. And then she was using foul language, which I tried to block out, but didn't do too well at it because the, the big word came in a GD word or whatever. And But anyway, but what I'm trying to say, get you to see is as Christians, we should do better. If we've been in a church long enough, we shouldn't be saying, using foul language. OK, I'm going to say it again because you can ask the Lord to deliver you and he will. We And we shouldn't say, OK, I believe in Jesus, but. I also have my own religion from Africa or whatever that she, she was saying, I, I believe in God and I believe in Jesus on the lines of this, this, and this, and this. There shouldn't be no line. There shouldn't be nothing on no line. You either believe in Jesus and you are, you, and you either follow Jesus or you just want to go your own way. You just want to believe in what you want to believe. It's either going to be one or the other. You can't be lukewarm. So I just wanted to say this about Christians. Now this is this lady was proclaiming to be a Christian, and how she loves you know God and how she loves God and and she believe in God and that's cool. The devils believe in God, but they tremble. So we don't want to be on the same level as demons, okay? And you you just have to go back to the uh you know the video to watch it. But I just this lady was just talk. I I was listening to it. I clicked on the Google and she was talking about Kanye West or whatever and. Uh, she don't like his album. I'm not going to go right. I ain't going to go no further in the video because it's more cussing and more this and more that. But anyway, she was just talking about, you know, the fact that she was a Christian. That's what got me. Is she said she was a Christian and then she goes forth and use the GD word. And then she goes forth to use uh, a more uh, 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 foul language. And then she goes forth. She got a different gospel. It is a different gospel. And, and the Bible said, if you, uh, Paul said, uh, if any man preach any other gospel, let him be a curse. So we're going to have to pray for this lady. Lua Neal, Lua Neal, what a uh, comedian was talking about Kanye West. And, but my problem w with it was, you know, you say you're a Christian, but you want to believe in, uh, yeah, I believe he died for my season, but I want to have my, it's like she was saying, our real religion as black people, okay, comes from Africa. That's a lie. Christianity ain't got nothing to do with a religion in Africa. Christianity started in Jerusalem, Galilee, Nazareth, when Jesus came about. And then when the book of Acts, you know, Jesus ascended, he sent down the Holy Spirit. And then the book of Acts, it was still throughout Jamer uh, Jerusalem and, and, and Samaria and Athens and Thessalonica and Corinth and all those places. That's where Christianity started. It didn't start nowhere in Africa, okay, uh, according to the word. Now, that's the word now. Look in the book of Acts. That's the word. But, you know what I'm saying? As Christians, let's not be this way, okay? Let's not try to, uh, pretend, you know, like we're Christians, but we can still use foul language. And, and we got to be delivered of this. We got to allow the Holy Ghost to deliver us from this stuff. And then we want to, uh, she was talking about, you know, like I said, she wants to uh, believe that black people have, should have their own religion from Africa, okay? And, uh-uh, no, no, no. That that has that's that's nothing to do with a religion. Or uh, she said she was a spiritual person, and you can be spiritual. That's cool. But what spirit are you of? 
It's cool. If you want to be spiritual, let it be. Let let your spirit at spirituality be of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Let your spirituality be of the Holy Ghost and not to be, I'm a spiritual person. Every one of us are spiritual because we have our own human spirit. But the thing is, is the human spirit is, was corrupted because of what Adam and Eve did in the garden. When they, uh, when, when Adam disobeyed God and ate the, the, the forbidden fruit, the sin, which was sin, uh, disobedience and rebellion towards God. When he ate that, then the Bible says all creation died. And so sin was passed down to all men. It was passed down to all of us. So we were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So our all our human spirit is corrupt because of sin. So that's why Jesus said, ye must be born again. So not of the corrupt seed, but of the incorruptible seed. Hallelujah. So we need to be born again of his spirit. Hallelujah. So I said, <laughs> I said all that to say this. When we're born again, there should be a change. Not like this lady was saying, I'm a spiritual person. And then, you know, all this foul language is coming. I'm a spiritual person. Hey, we can, we all spirits, but it just depends on if you're born again or not. Cause we can all be spiritual, but what spirit are you of though? It's the, this question. Cause I used to be spiritual too, but I was ruled by my flesh. I was ruled by, uh, 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 the spirit of addiction, the spirit of confusion. I was ruled by a homosexuality, spiritual spirit, homo, the spirit of homosexuality, the spirit of addiction, and the spirit of uh, perversion and confusion. So we all spirits, but what? But what were we born of, though? That's why Jesus said you must be born again. So if you missed this video, just go back and watch it where this lady was talking about. I'm a Christian. And we pray for it. We bind those spirits. We bind that deception. That's deception. But I'm just, I just want to show this to let you guys know this is what the world thinks about Christianity. So that means we need to get, that means we need to, uh, begin to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. We need to be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. We don't need to, she thinks Christianity on the lines of that is going to church, going to a building and having big hats on. Talking about so and so in church, and, and 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 gospel, the gospel music, and all that kind of stuff, and and this and that, you know, just entertainment, basically. That's what the world thinks about our Christianity. So to really walk in what Christianity, to really show the world what Christianity really is, and it's about following Christ, and it's about being born again and it's about you know what I'm saying it's about being filled with the Holy Ghost and and walking in the power of God walking in love loving each other that's how they're gonna know we that we're his disciples is by the love that we show one towards another so if we're gonna be Christians let's be true Christians and not just go to a building and and not just you know what I'm saying just for a show you know what I mean big hats and I got the best dress and I got the best suit and so and so sure did play that piano today. No, I want to see miracles, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I want to see miracles. I want to see deliverance. I want to see demons cast out, uh, the sick healed, the dead raised. That's true Christianity. Because that's what Jesus' ministry was. Not what this lady, Laniel, or whatever her name is, is talking about. So pray for her. I pray for her deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. So God bless you. I pray y'all have a blessed day. I just want to share this with you. Christians, if we're, if we're calling ourselves Christians, we need to begin to walk in the character and the nature of Christ. Hallelujah. So God bless you. I pray y'all have a blessed, a blessed day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You should know them by the fruit. That's right. You should know them by the fruit. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.